boss. Moose! Keep your eyes out. So all I do when I'm out moose one hunting is I just drive down all these old woods roads as long as I see there ain't a bunch of people already been down them and try to find where the moose are I just drove down here the first tracks coming down this road and I uh, didn't even see any moose tracks so this doesn't look good so I'm gonna go down every single road working my way north and eventually I might find out where they are and that's where I'll go walking around looking being boss he finds them. So, all right. Hopefully, we find one. So I got down to the end of this road. Looks like it was pretty muddy here. So I'm going to park my truck there. I see some old moose tracks. Old moose track right there. So we're going to go for a walk. We got the dog. Boss. Hey. Come on. A lot of moose tracks. They've been hanging out in this clear cut. So we're gonna cruise down to the end of this road and then probably go for some walks. Big area to cover. I'm probably only gonna go for a quick walk or two through it. Sun dog. Never, never seen these before. I went to Alaska, and then we see them up in Alaska, and this will be the second time I've seen them in Maine since I've been to Alaska. There's a little piece of rainbow and the moisture in the air right there. That's pretty cool. I don't see the other side. 
There's usually one on each side of the sun. And in Alaska, they're called sun dogs. Boss will be whining. What? Really? 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 So sometimes when I get somewhere and I don't want to walk with the dog here, I uh, play on the horn a couple of times to get rid of the moose and deer and hopefully them critters will run away and that way he ain't chasing a bunch of animals out here. Definitely don't want him chasing anything. So yeah, there's been a bunch of moose tracks back there, so I'm gonna go for a walk down here. Let's see what we find. Hopefully he finds one. Yeah, so this area has a bunch of tracks, a bunch of old tracks throughout here. And they like these old, these clear cuts because they'll eat all these buds. See that bud eating off of there? They, uh, they're all eating off there. Just, they come through and just eat the buds off all these short trees. And you see the old, old tracks. Hopefully we find one. He's definitely been hanging out here. We got a better chance of the dog finding one now. Boss, come! Boss! She stays with me. Come on, good boy. Find the horn. Find the horn, boss. Find the horn. Where is it? Right here? Is it over here? Right here. Right here. Right here. Can you see where a moose scraped on this tree? Scraped his horns on there. Well, it's looking good, but I don't have faith in it. Yeah, so I just walked down the old road all the way down in here didn't find anything so now I'm gonna walk this wood line all the way back up through on this clear cut I like to hang out along the wood line so still nothing but we're still doing a try Quite a few moose tracks right here. Boss! Boss! Boss, this way! Come on! Can't found no moose horn. You see this big old moose bed? Let me show you that. <laughs> Took a nap right there, I'd say. There's one there, a bunch of fresh tracks. Yeah. Yeah. Before we find one, we're still trying.
resist, had to do it. Yeah, still no luck, but a lot less moose than there used to be too. And I see fresh tracks going down this road I just pulled onto, so I said, screw it, I'm gonna go walk around this clear cut. Big old clear cut, hopefully he finds one. Hey boss, hopefully you find one. Yeah, another moose bed. Fucking little nap. Bunch of fresh tracks. Still nothing, but I was gonna keep trying. Jack right up here. Yeah, I bet they shoot a few coyotes right there. We still ain't found any. This this clear cut that I'm in now. <clears throat> it's definitely got the most sign that I've seen. Fresh poop right here. Yeah, the most tracks, most everything I've seen from moose sign has been in this cut, old cut, it's all grown up now, it's starting to grow up. <clears throat> so, you see all the, all the buds are gone, they have eaten their way through here, so hopefully I can find one. Moose bed. Moose bed. Hey, you see, everybody's gone. They have hammered through here. Definitely the most moose sign. Even broke off all the fresh tips on this softwood tree, too. <clears throat> broke a bunch of these trees down. Yeah, hopefully the dog finds one. All right, we're gonna keep looking. Yeah, there ain't a single bud left. They have eaten them all. Broken off pieces. It's crazy looking over this way. Just all the tips are all gone. Still green too, so fairly fresh. Oh, you see all the trees that broken over here to get to the top buds. No, I think there's a few moose in this area. Jesus, going down. <laughs> Fuck, you should be walking out here. Yeah, everybody's going out through there. Yeah, moose tracks all over this road. Old, fresh. out in this cut. The buds are going off them trees. Yeah. <laughs> 
Look at all the moose tracks here. Quite a few moose tracks. They're hanging out. They're always sparring with each other. If they still get horns, they'll sit there in the middle of an opening like that and spar. That's where I found moose horns a lot on the road. They all trampled down where they were playing with each other. I guess I'm gonna walk over to this wood line over here. Walk over and back, I guess. No horns today. I definitely tried. I must have walked a few miles and drove a lot of miles. We've seen some sign, but no horns. So we're supposed to get a big snowstorm here tomorrow into the next day. So I'll cover up any moose horns that have fallen. So this is probably my one and only until next spring. Once the snow all melts, I'll come back. Actually, I just bought a drone, so maybe I can fly this area with a drone and try to find find some moose horns. So all right, still had fun. Definitely was an adventure. Yeah, so as I'm, when I'm out horn hunting, I'm always looking for chaga. Mushroom that grows on yellow birch trees. And I found some. So normally I have my axe, but all I got is my ice chisel. So I'm gonna try to. I don't think I can do that one handed. Ugh. Yeah, I can't do that one handed. Yeah, we got it. It's a good little piece of chaga. Those small pieces of right down here, right here. Yeah, so when I'm out horn hunting, I'm not just looking for moose horns, I'm looking for everything. I used to sell a lot of chaga. I used to sell thousands of pounds of chaga every year, but I kind of don't anymore. <coughs> Covered most all my good ground. And one of my buyers doesn't buy anymore. So, I'm tagging some coyote pelts today. And we're on the way back down through. Tired. Would have liked to put on some miles, didn't they? How many moose ones did you walk right by and didn't let dad know, huh? <clears throat> Probably a few. You're supposed to bark when you see them. <laughs> 